Hello, how to solve t times t times t equals 8 divided by 27? We are solving for all values of t that satisfy this equation. So let's multiply this out. We have t times t, that is t squared, t squared times t. This is t to the power of 3. And this equals 8 divided by 27. And from here, we have t to the power of 3 equals 8. We can express it as 2 to the power of 3 divided by 27, we can express it as 3 to the power of 3. So from here, if you have a power c divided by b power c, this equals a divided by b or to the power of c. So we apply this identity right here. We are going to have c power 3 equals 2 divided by 3 to the power of 3. So from here, I can move this over here, and it's going to change to negative. So I'm going to have t power 3 minus this is 2 over 3 to the power of 3, and this equals 0. Now, if you observe, this is to the power of 3, and this is to the power of 3. So what I'm going to do next will be for me to apply this identity if I have a power 3 minus b power 3. This equals a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b to the power of 2. And in this case, my a is t and b is 2 over 3. So, let me make use of this identity. I'm going to have t minus 2 over 3 times this is t squared plus t times 2 over 3, we have t times 2 over 3, plus this is 2 over 3 to the power of 2. And this equals 0. So from here, I'm going to have t minus 2 over 3 times this is t squared, plus t times 2. This is 2t over 3 plus here we are going to raise each of these to the power of 2 to power 2. That is 4 divided by 3 power 2. That is 9. And this equals 0. So from here, I'm going to equate each of these to 0. I have the first one t minus 2 over 3 equals 0. Or I have this one here t squared plus 2t divided by 3, plus 4, divided by 9, equals 0. So let's stop the first one here. What I'm going to do will be to move this over here. It becomes positive. I have t equals 2 over 3. So this is my t1. Now, we have this other equation, which are, we are going to solve for other values of t. Now, this is over 1. Let's find the common LCM, which is 9. 9 divides 1, that is 9, 9 times t squared, that is 9 t squared, plus 9 divided 3, 3, 3 times 2t, that is 6t, plus 9 divided 9, 1, 1 times 4, I have 4, and this equals 0. Now, this is over 1, I can decide to cross multiply. The 9 will multiply the 0, and that is 0. So, what I'm going to have it will be 9t squared plus 60 plus 4 equals 0. Now I can reduce this. Is there any number I can divide 9, 6, and 4? Obviously, no. So what I'm going to do will be to solve it like that. So I'm going to solve using the formula method. Ft equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4 times ac divided by 2 times a. And from here, the 9 here, which is the equation of t squared, is my a. The 6, which is the equation of t, is my b. And the 4 is my c. I'm going to insert it right into this formula of t equals this is negative 6 plus of or minus square root of 
this is 6 power 2, minus 4 times 9 times 4, divided by 2 times 9. So from here, I'm going to have t equals, this is negative 6, plus or minus square root of 6 squared here, this is 36, minus 4 times 9, that is 36, 36 times 4, that is 144, so I have it divided by 18. I have 18 here. So from here, I'm going to have t equal, this is negative 6 plus or minus, square root of 36 minus 144. This is negative 108, and this is divided by 18. So from here, I'm just going to have t equals negative 6 plus or minus, there is minus here, I can take it out, times square root of 108, divided by 18. So from here, I can have t equals negative 6 plus or minus, square root of negative 1 is i times, this I can express it as 36 times 3, divided by 18. So from here, I'm going to have t equals negative 6 plus or minus i times, this is square root of 36 times square root of 3, divided by 18. So from here, I have t equals, this is negative 6 plus or minus i times square root of 36, this is 6 times root of 3, this is divided by 18. So what happens is that the 6 can cancel the cell bonds, cancel this 3, cancel this once. So what I'm going to have will be t equals negative 1 plus or minus i times root 3 divided by 3. So from here, I can factor out 1 over 3, have t equals 1 over 3 times negative 1 plus or minus, there is plus or minus here, i root 3. So I have two complex solutions for t, which are maybe t2 equals 1 over 3 times negative 1 plus i root 3. And also, I have t3 equals 1 over 3 times negative 1 minus i root 3. So these are the two complex solutions, and we have one real solution. The real solution is 2 over 3. So what I'm going to do will be to insert that real solution back here, it is going to satisfy the equation. So I have t equals, this is the one we had, let me check, 3 over 2, right? Yeah, 2 over 3. So you have t equals 2 over 3. I'm going to insert it here. I have t times t times t equals 8 over 27. So let's solve it here. We have 2 over 3 times 2 over 3 times 2 over 3 equals 8 over 27. So from here, we have 2 times 2 times 2. That is 8 divided by 3 times 3 times 3, this is 27, and this equals 8 divided by 27. So that is it. Thank you, and goodbye.